A 1 kg block rests on a rough table whose coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.35. A 2 kg block hangs on one side of the table and is connected to the 1 kg block by a massless string passing over a frictionless pulley attached to the edge of the table. On the other side of the table, a 4 kg block hangs and is connected to the 1 kg block by a massless string passing over a frictionless pulley attached to that end of the table. Determine the acceleration of the objects and the tensions in the two cords. So first, let us draw the table and the blocks. So supposing that this is the table and our block 1 resting on the table is here and then we have pulleys attached on each edge of the table such that there are strings Okay, there is a string attached. It passes over a frictionless pulley. And at the end of each string, there are blocks that are hanging. So let us assign letters for each block. Let us assign this block on the left side as block A, on the right side as block B, and uh, the block on the table as block C. So let A be the 2 kilogram block. Let the mass B be the 4 kilogram block and let C be the 1 kilogram block. So we will be making um, FBDs for each block here. So for block A, for block A it's hanging. So once they are connected, of course, these blocks will move. They are connected to each other. It means that their accelerations will be the same. So block A will go, well, block B is heavier here. It's 4 kilogram. So we expect A to go up. That's the net force of A. Block C to go to the right. That's the net force of C. And block B to go down. That's the net force of B. And then, what are the forces um, acting on the three blocks? So for block A, we have the tension. Let the tension be T1, which is directed upward, and its weight, that's Fw of A. For block B, we have tension that is directed upward, but this is not equal to T1 anymore because this is a different string. So this is for T1 here, and this is a different string here. So let that, let's say that's T2. And then we have the weight of block B directed downward, F, W, B. And then for block C, we have the normal force directed upward, which is opposite the weight of block C. We have T2 directed towards the right, and then we have T1 directed towards the left, but there, there's another opposing force here, which is the frictional force or the kinetic friction. So for block A, looking at the, the forces, so for block A, the net force of A is equal to T1 minus Fw of A. So the net force of A is the mass of block A times the acceleration equals T1 minus 
the mass of block A times acceleration due to gravity. So mass of block A, we can substitute is 2 times acceleration due to gravity. Let's just get rid of the um, units first because we are going to be forming equations. Equals T1 minus 2 times 9.81. So we're just not going to compute that. So 2A minus T1 equals negative 2 times 9.81. Let that be equation number 1. For block B, the net force of B is equal to the weight of B minus T2. So, FB is the mass of B times the acceleration that's equal to the mass of B times acceleration due to gravity minus T2. So substituting the mass of block B is 4. So 4A equals 4 times 9.81 minus T2. Or that's 4A plus T2 equals 4 times 9.81. Let this be equation number Two. For block C, we are going to look at the, take note that there are no other forces along the vertical, which tells us that the normal force is simply equal to the weight of block C. So looking at all the horizontal forces, the net force of C is equal to T2 minus T1 minus the frictional force Fk. So the mass of block C times its acceleration is equal to T2 minus T1 minus mu K Fn. But then again, Fn is just equal to the weight of block C. So MCA equals T2 minus T1. Our coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.35 as given in the problem. Mu K, and then weight is the mass of block C times the acceleration due to gravity. So substituting the values, our mass of block C is only 1 kilogram. So we can simply write A equals T2 minus T1 minus 0 0.35 and then we will not write 1 anymore we'll just write directly 9.81 so a plus t1 transposing t1 and t2 arranging minus t2 equals negative 0 0.35 times 9.81 so this is our equation number three so we have three equations, three unknowns. We can now use our calculator. So using calculator to solve for the system of equation, if we want to use our calculator, just make sure that you arrange the variables according to their or the order you like. So this one, I arranged it in as in the order A, T1, and T2. So just like in equation number one, because there is no T2 term here, it means that its coefficient is zero. In the second equation, because there is no T1 um, one here, it means that its coefficient is zero. Because in our calculator, we are simply going to input the coefficients. Okay, so using our calculator, what is the value or what are the values of A, T1, and T2? So, this is an app that we can use to solve. It's kind of like the, it's kind of like um, a, our Casio calculator. So, you simply press mode and you look for the, um, the function which can solve systems of equations. So, here this is solving systems of equations with three unknowns. So, your calculator can do that for you. So you simply input the values. 
So here, the coefficient of A is 2. So input 2 equals. It must be according to the given A N X plus B N Y plus C N Z equals D in that format. Okay, the coefficient of T1 is negative 1. There is no T2, which means that the coefficient is 0. And on the right side, the constant is negative 2 times 9.81 equals. As for the second equation, the coefficient of A is 4. The coefficient of T1 is 0. The coefficient of T2 is 1. And the constant on the right side is 4 times 9.81. For the third equation, the coefficient of A is 1. The coefficient of T1 is also 1. The coefficient of T2 is negative 1. And the constant on the right side is negative 0.35 times 9.81. And your calculator will solve um, the values according to the order A, T1, and T2. So equals. So the value of x there. The first value, because you arrange it in the form order, uh, in the order A, T1, and T2. So the first value that will be um, given by your calculator will be the value of the acceleration, which is 2.3124 meters per second squared. So because the value of our acceleration is positive, it means that we assume the correct direction that B will go down, C will go to the right, and A will go up. So the second value is T1, that's 24.2447 newtons. That's the tension on the left side string. And the tension on the right side string is 29.9906 newtons. Okay, so that, uh, the, these are our answers. This is what we are looking for in the problem, the acceleration of the objects and the tension in the two chords or strings.